and welcome back to a new lesson on ways to describe relationships. Well, a lot of you are probably yearning to be in a relationship. A lot of you have come out of a relationship and a lot of you are happily, you know, involved in a good relationship. Well, let's see some phrases, some slangs, uh, as if you will, as far as relationships are concerned. Well, let's deal with those people who are not in a relationship. Well, this is a very good place to be in your life. Let's see why. The first one, the first word uh, that relates to people who are not in a relationship is the word single. So when I say single, what comes to mind? Single basically means one, you know, you stand alone. And therefore, being single means somebody who is, of course, not married. And of course, someone who is not dating either. So if you are one of those people who is not remotely interested in being in a relationship, and if someone asks you whether you are in a relationship, you can say, no, I am single. Yeah, that's the word. And then you've got um, just friends. Well, this is another phrase, so to speak, when we talk about people who just meet on a social level or someone who just hang out together. So when you just hang out as friends, you know, you don't have anything going on between you. So, you know, a lot of times you have a lot of these annoying aunts of you, of yours, who kind of are very inquisitive to know what you're kind of doing with that friend you hang around with on a social level. But then that person is just your friend. And if somebody inquires about that, you can say, look, we're just friends. You know, we don't have anything going on. We're just friends. Okay. And then you have uh, a phrase called platonic relationship. Well, big word, isn't it? But don't be scared. Don't be confused because platonic relationship is another way of saying just friends. So uh, can I say that it is a more formal, a, a more formal way of saying just friends? So it, you will see a lot of actors and actresses when they kind of give interviews, uh, they might use this word called, no, we're just in a platonic relationship. They're just saying formally that, look, there is nothing going on between me and my co-star. We are in a platonic relationship. We are just friends. And then there are some people who are also excited. I know a lot of you are because now you are embarking on the beginning of a new relationship. Quite an exciting time in your life, isn't it? Let's see why. Um, when you start, when you begin a relationship, it all begins with being really into someone. Into, when I say I'm into this guy, what do I mean? I'm into this guy and this guy is into me. It basically means that we are mutually attracted to each other. So when you meet someone for the first time, maybe at a party, uh, at home, you know, anywhere, maybe at, at the local cafe and sparks fly. You, you know there's this chemistry going on between you two. So you can say for sure that I'm into this guy and this guy is into me. And then, well, you kind of just move it up a little bit. You move up a notch. So the next step after you get attracted to someone is, of course, asking them out. You couldn't really begin a relationship without asking someone out, out could you? So let's see what ask out means. Ask out means that you ask someone to go out on a date with you. So 
you know, normally, uh, in traditionally, well, normally a guy always is the one who is supposed to ask out a girl. Uh, if you, being a girl, are comfortable doing it, then, well, that's up to you. But asking someone to go on a date would probably mean asking them if they want to catch up, catch for, you know, catch for a movie or go, up, go for a cup of coffee or just go down for a walk, maybe. So that's called asking somebody out. And then you got hook up. Well, um, well, this is the traditional way of getting, you know, into a relationship, you know, beginning a relationship as we discussed. But hook up is, is that wherein you kind of, you know, before asking someone out, the sparks have, you know, have flew between you, you're mutually attracted, but you don't do the traditional thing of asking someone out. So you hook up. So hook up is some, nothing but, you know, involve, you, you get involved in maybe kissing someone, having a bit of a sexual experience, even before you go out on a date. Now, I don't know how many of you've gone for those, you know, these parties and you've hooked up with someone, didn't you? Well, you've done that before going out on a date. And well, a lot of people do that these days. So basically, the non-traditional people who are into someone, who directly go from being into someone into hooking up with someone are those people who, you know, who, who indulge in kissing or, uh, you know, any kind of sexual experience that they go through. So that's what you kind of, you know, you are involved in before you even go out on a date or before you even uh, officially get involved in a relationship. This is basically a phrase that you use when you've kind of, you know, made out with someone before, you know, getting into a, a formal relationship. And then you've got seeing each other. Well, when can I say that me and the guy who has asked me out have started seeing each other? Seeing each, each other is nothing but it is a terminology used when you go out with someone and when you hook up with someone on a regular basis. So, when you go out with someone and when you hook up with someone, you can now say that you are officially seeing e each other. So now you are, you know, always doing the rounds in each other's houses. You are kind of, you know, going out on dates very often. You go out in movies. So that's what seeing each other means. Now that we've seen phrases about not being in a relationship, the beginning of a new relationship, we're now going to move a step further. We're going to talk about the phrases that deal with being in the actual relationship. Uh, when you are officially in a real relationship, the very first phrase or the word that you will come across is the word dating. So we say that we are dating each other. What does that mean? It means nothing, but it is a period of courtship. So now you are seriously, uh, you know, you're hooking up, you're, you're going out, you are seeing each other on a continual basis. And therefore, you are now in this period of courtship. So you are not married, you're not engaged, but you are going out very often and that is what dating is all about okay so you can say that i was dating this guy for three years so you are now giving your relationship a tag a title um of course once you're seriously dating for a couple of years you will eventually get engaged because you know you want to really spend more time together you want to eventually get married so before a marriage you get engaged so it is a an event actually that proceeds or comes before you know being officially married which means you girls will definitely get a ring uh, you guys will really have to do a lot of impressing at this point of time because now you are going to get married eventually after you get engaged. Um, and then after you get married, say for a year or two, you are called newlyweds. So when you are, uh, you know, recently married, 
So I can say Josephine and Charles are newlyweds. They were married just six months ago. Okay, or I could say Rick got engaged three months ago. So these are phrases used as long as we're talking about being in the official relationship. And then you've got partners. You know, it's very nice when you're dating, when you get engaged and when you eventually get married. But what about those people who don't think that getting married is a good idea? They, they prefer being together, doing all the things that, you know, the married people normally do, you know, live life together, but they will never ever have an official, you know, a legal marriage sort of. So they are partners. So they live together. Um, they stay together, but not married. So they're not married couples. So couples who probably live in together, you know, who, who don't really, who are not married, but they want to stay together, you know, for, for, for a very long period of time, they are called partners. Okay, so now, after being in a relationship, sadly, a lot of relationships end. And that's not a very good thing, is it? So well, let's look at some phrases dealing with what happens when you end a relationship, okay? Uh, breakup. Well, a breakup could be uh, mutual or it could be one person, you know, breaking up with the other. Okay, so if I say I break up with you, it means that I'm the one who wants to end the relationship. So if, if you say that he broke up with me, it means that he's the one who wanted to end the relationship. So breaking up is asking to end the relationship for whatever reasons that you know you couldn't sort out um, so breakup could be as I said mutual or from or one-sided but to dump someone is always one-sided so this is always only one-sided so if I say my boyfriend dumped me, it means that he is the one who wanted to break up with me. I didn't want to do it. We both did not want to go apart. He is the one who wanted to dump me. Or if I say, you know, Charlie dumped his girlfriend. Well, Charlie is the one who wanted to break up with his girlfriend. So she didn't want it. So dumping is always one sided as opposed to breaking up which can be both. And then you've got um, a phrase called I'm through with someone. It basically means that you are angrily opting out of the relationship. You know, relationships for the most part are very complicated. So you have a lot of disagreements sometimes you have a lot of you know problems and issues so a lot of times you can't kind of you know sort things through with your partner or with the person you are dating with so in that case you you just want to like give up you know throw in the towel and say i'm through with someone which means i you are you are really angry and you want to opt out of the relationship being through with someone again can be both mutual and one-sided so if i am you know tired of being in this relationship i could say i'm through if we both have mutually agreed that you know this is the end of it we can say we are through with each other so you can say i'm through with you or we are through and then you've got separated and di divorced well both these terms you know sound pretty much similar uh, their meanings are quite similar actually, but their, you know, their meanings do differ in a certain way. Well, when do I say separated and when do I say we're divorced? So couples who are not married but have fallen apart are called separated. But if you are already married, 
and then you are apart and you are yet apart that's when you say that you are officially divorced which means to be divorced you've you've got to make sure that you kind of do the legal work the paperwork as far as you know getting the divorce proceedings going through so separated is sometimes you can also use separated for couples who are married but before getting officially divorced they kind of tend to live you know in separate apartments so separated can be used also for married people but mostly it's, it, it talks about being not married but living apart and divorced means you are married and you are no longer together it's it's officially you know you're out of the relationship and then you've got exes so people who are separated and divorced are called exes so if you are the one who is separated or divorced you can say i am his ex or you know if if you were married to someone for say five years and you are no longer together you you were divorced you can say that he is my ex all right well that brings me to the end of this lesson on describing your relationships well now you can figure out for yourself which category you fall into well i'll see you soon with some more lessons until then this is me saying goodbye